Hi there and welcome back. If you are planning to take the SHRIM or HRCI exam, then you will need to be familiar with certain HR terms and definitions like what is a red circle rate? What is an agile organization? What is Americans with Disabilities Act? What is attrition? Behavioral based interviewing? What's a blind ad? And what is employee engagement? And much more. In this video, we will be reviewing these important HR terms and definitions you need to know to ace the SHRIM or HRCI exam. So let's begin. What is a red circle rate? A red circle rate is a pay rate that is above the maximum range assigned to a job grade. Employees who are red circled are usually not eligible for additional pay increases until the range maximums are increased above the individual pay rate or the employee transfers to a job with a higher pay range. So in simpler terms, this is a rate which is higher than the usual rate for the employee's pay grade and in these situations, the employee will not receive any annual increments until they have been promoted or the actual pay range of the grade is increased itself. Next, what is an agile organization? An Agile organization is one that is structured to allow for alteration of its direction to operate successfully. An Agile organization requires its workforce to swiftly adapt to the changing needs of customers, employees and the marketplace. To simplify this definition, an Agile organization is a term applied to organizations which are quick in responding to changes in the marketplace or environment. Following our five general traits of an Agile organization. They are made up of skillful, self-awarded individuals who are also great team players. Their leaders inspire others without losing the cohesion within the entire system. Their organization is based on continuous learning from experiments. They use an open communication style such as collaboration and sharing. They focus on long-term business value. Moving along. What is Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA? The Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 prohibits discrimination against people with disabilities in employment and requires employers to make reasonable accommodations for them to do their jobs. The ADA is a civil rights law that prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public life including jobs, schools, transportation, and all public and private places that are open to the general public. The purpose of this law is to make sure that people with disabilities have the same rights and opportunities as everyone else. The ADA gives civil rights protections to individuals with disabilities similar to those provided to individuals on the basis of race, color, sex, national origin, age, and religion. It guarantees equal opportunity for individuals with disabilities in public accommodations, employment, transportation, state and local government services and telecommunications. I apologize in advance for interrupting the video right now. Just a quick message from me. If you are preparing for the SHRIM exam, then consider checking out my SHRIM exam study guide, the one book learning system. I have left a link in the description of this video where you can find more details about this guide and how to use it to ace the exam. Now back to the video. Next, what is attrition? Attrition is a term used to describe voluntary or involuntary terminations, deaths, and employee retirements that result in a reduction to the employer's physical workforce. Attrition is when an organization gradually loses its human resource assets due to resignation, downsizing, and retirement. What is attrition rate? The employee attrition rate is the rate at which the employees leave a particular organization. Here the employees may leave through resignation, downsizing or retirement. If for example, there is a total of 200 employees working at your organization and 20 of them leave within the year, the attrition rate will be 10%. We can use this formula to calculate annual attrition rate. Furthermore, we can break down attrition into two types which are voluntary attrition and involuntary attrition. When employees choose to leave an organization as per their own will, the instance is known as voluntary attrition. True voluntary attrition happens when people resign 
to pursue a new job or to relocate. When the employer or the hiring organization decides to let go of employees, this instance is known as involuntary attrition. Downsizing is the most common reason for this sort of event. The recent pandemic would have been one of the main reasons for most of the involuntary attrition in 2020. What is behavioral based interviewing? Behavioral based interviewing is a technique which focuses on a candidate's past experiences, behaviors, knowledge, skills, and abilities by asking the candidate to provide specific examples of when they have demonstrated certain behaviors or skills in the past as a means of predicting future behavior and performance. The main difference between this type of interviewing and a regular interview is that rather than merely sharing your opinions or ideas about what you would do in a situation, as in a regular interview, in a behavior-based interview, you must describe in detail how you handled a situation in the past. Here are some examples of behavioral-based interview questions. Teamwork. Tell me about a time when you worked with a team to solve a problem. What was the situation? How were you involved? What steps did you take? And what was the outcome? If you want to ascertain the decision-making skills of the candidate, then you can ask the following questions. What was the most difficult decision you have made in the last six months? What was the situation? What made it difficult? What did you decide? What was the final result? If you want to test communication, describe for me when you had great difficulty communicating your thoughts clearly to another person or group. What was the situation? Where did the difficulty in communicating effectively lie? What did you do to get your point across more clearly? What was the outcome? Moving along. If you are finding value in this video and would like to be reminded of similar videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. Like the video, leave a comment. Thanks a bunch. Let's continue. What is a blind ad? A blind ad is a job advertisement which contains no identifying information about the employer placing the ad. It may be used when an employer wishes to confidentially hire a replacement for a current employee, to build a talent pool or to keep internal changes private. It is a controversial tactic due to the secrecy and possible ethical issues. If you are on LinkedIn, you have seen jobs posted from an employer named Confidential. Probably in this case, the employer does not want to reveal their identity yet, which could be for a number of reasons. Next, what is employee engagement? Employee engagement is an employee satisfaction within their work and pride in their employer to the extent to which people enjoy and believe in what they do for work and have the perception that their employer values what they bring to the table. I recommend you watch this video next where I explain employee engagement in detail. If you are finding value in these videos I am producing, then consider subscribing to my channel, hit the like button and leave a comment. I post HR and leadership related videos every week. I will see you in the next video.